The Teaching Privacy Project aims to explain how online privacy works. On our website, teachingprivacy.org, you will find 10 principles for protecting your online privacy. Our next principle is, just because something can't be found today doesn't mean it can't be found tomorrow. Information that used to be safely stored offline is being digitized at a blistering rate and being put online. Government and industry are making more data available online to the public. Paper-based records are being scanned and made searchable through optical character recognition, commonly known as OCR. People are digitizing physical media like old photos, videos, and audio tapes. Even public records like property deeds, court documents, and birth certificates are being digitized and stored in online databases. And every day that data is becoming easier to find. New search methods are becoming available for more types of data, such as multimedia retrieval techniques that can find images and videos by features of their content. These techniques follow a pipeline from intelligence agencies to consumer products. What governments could do yesterday, businesses can do today, and individuals will be able to do at home tomorrow. For example, it used to be that only intelligence agencies and law enforcement had software that could recognize individuals in photos. Eventually, companies began using this software, and now any individual can download a facial recognition app. In addition, governments can change the regulations about what data can legally be made available and how. And apps and services are constantly tinkering with their privacy policies. What that adds up to is a possibility that you could get blindsided when information you never expected to become public now is. That data in the wrong hands could lead to embarrassment, identity theft, or worse. In short, security through obscurity does not exist. Relying on something to remain private just because it cannot easily be found today does not mean that it will not be found in the future as technology improves. As bad as that sounds, there are still things you can do about it. Use your imagination. Assume that any type of data that's out there, from you or about you, will eventually be searchable, even if the techniques aren't available today. If you ever did anything embarrassing in the pre-digital days, possibly with family or friends, make sure they know that it should never see the digital light of day. Get the facts. Keep track of laws and policies about what kind of information can be made public and check your privacy settings for any services you use. But also keep in mind that all of those things may change in the future without you knowing it. Search for yourself regularly to see what others can find out about you. Choose what you reveal. Only give out as much personal information as you have to, since it may become findable later. For example, before you enter any information in a form, online or even on paper, or before you allow an app or service to access information about you, including your current location or your contacts, ask yourself what they need it for. If the company or service provider doesn't need that information to provide the service you want, either don't give them the information or choose some other way of getting that service. The bottom line is that search is improving and more information is being put online, so you should actively monitor your information footprint to keep track of what's out there.